Greetings and welcome to our 60 second test and measurement video. We'll be checking out an interesting topic, the items that appear in the frequency domain display of the amazing Tektronix MDO 3000 series oscilloscope. These items are separate and distinct from those that appear in the time domain and also items that appear in the arbitrary function generator display. Not all of these items are present simultaneously. They vary depending on which oscilloscope functions are turned on using on-screen menus and front panel buttons. The signal we are using in the first part of this demonstration is from 120 volt single phase utility power accessed at a branch circuit receptacle. Here is this basic 60 hertz sine wave, just the fundamental with no discernible harmonics, first shown in the time domain. The Tektronix MDO 3000 instrument offers two options for looking at the frequency domain. The first of these is acquired through an analog input channel, in this case channel 1, into which we have plugged a Tektronix TPP 1000 10 to 1 attenuating probe that is connected to the utility signal. To see this waveform in the frequency domain, first press MATH. Then, in the contextual menu below the display, locate FFT and press the associated soft key. What we are seeing is the time domain display with the frequency domain display shown simultaneously in the same screen. The frequency domain display is derived from the time domain display based on a mathematical process known as the Fourier transform developed by Joseph Fourier in connection with heat flow. He found that any waveform, no matter how complex and non-sinusoidal, can be resolved into the sum of two or more sine waves. It follows from this that the Fourier transform of time itself is a complex-valued function of frequency, and this is exactly what we are seeing here. It becomes a little clearer if we push the soft key associated with horizontal in the FFT menu. Using multipurpose knob A, we shift the trace to the right. Notice now the big spike in the center where it can be seen. It corresponds to the fundamental, and since we are looking at the sine wave, that is where all the power is, so there are no visible harmonics. The transformation from the time domain to the frequency domain is accomplished not really through the original Fourier transform, which is enormously complex, but rather by means of the fast Fourier transform, much simpler mathematically. FFT was developed in the 1960s and is based on some very efficient log algorithms that greatly facilitate this operation, which can now be done instantly in the oscilloscope by pressing a button. Now we'll look at a different frequency domain. Here again we are looking at the sine wave, this time originating from the arbitrary function generator and fed into the RF input by means of a BNC cable. The trace can be centered as before by changing the center frequency to 60 Hertz. As before, the power is all in the fundamental. Changing the AFG output to noise, we see a frequency domain representation that is much richer in harmonics.
items that are shown on the screen in the frequency domain representation when AFG is on include at the upper left next to the tech logo an indication as to whether the instrument is in the run or stop mode. The amplitude in the frequency domain graph is shown according to a logarithmic decimal scale, which for the depiction of power is more realistic than the lineal scale that shows amplitude in volts for the time domain. At the bottom, RF means we are currently seeing a radio frequency input. The scale is 10 decibels per division. An AFG is connected, the signal shown being noise. The signal is 500 millivolts peak to peak. The center frequency is 60 hertz, shown to an astonishing seven decimal places. Span 3 gigahertz and RBW 3 megahertz as well as time and date are shown. Thanks for watching. More videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.